1, top. Allumage P80 et décollage VV12 Aeolus. A successful blast off. Europe's wind measuring satellite finally on its way, 24 hours after the initial launch was cancelled because of the breeze. On board, Aeolus. Built in Britain, it hopes to change the way the world forecasts the weather. It will help track the path of hurricanes and typhoons like Sulik, which is currently battering Southeast Asia. These huge weather events are visible from space and plotted by meteorological computer programs. The trouble is, measuring the winds that transport them currently rely on patchy observations from things like weather balloons. We need to know the winds in, in remote areas such as the oceans because those winds in those areas determine what the weather will be downstream in, for example, over well popula populated areas such as Europe many days later. Once Aeolus is in orbit 320 kilometers above Earth, an instrument on board called Aladdin will shine laser beams through the atmosphere. Monitoring reflections from gas and dust particles moving around, it will be able to measure wind speeds at different altitudes all over the globe. Aeolus is going to give us near real-time wind speed information from the lower 30 kilometers of the Earth's atmosphere, which is essential for farming, for transport, for construction, and in extreme circumstances can, can be the difference between life and death. Allahu Akbar! Those living in Kerala can have no doubt about the power of the weather. Fortunately, this building had been evacuated, but more than a million people have been left homeless by floods. More data from space means more chance of predicting the next disaster. It would also offer more certainty for those in Hawaii preparing for Hurricane Lane, which is currently spinning towards them at 160 miles per hour. Within a week, Aeolus will collect more wind data than has ever been recorded, also helping to model climate change and explore what's happening with polar ice. Well, the wind is a fundamental component of the climate system. So understanding what the wind does gives us a better indication of what will happen with temperature, what will happen with, for example, Arctic Ocean melt, things like that. Back in Stevenage, where it was built, celebrations after a smooth launch. With a fair wind, the 430 million pound satellite will be in orbit for three years. Martin Stew, News at 10.